Hey YouTube, it's Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. You all know that we're going on the inaugural cruise on the NCL Bliss June 2nd. And in honor of that, I thought I'd do a little video about five things that you can do for free or a little fee when you're visiting Ketchikan. So stick around. Ketchikan is the southernmost city in Alaska, and it's also arguably the most beautiful city in the state. Known for being the salmon capital of the world, this city on a hill is also one of the most walkable you will find. Tourists will delight in the countless things to do in Ketchikan, Alaska. This guide to do-it-yourself Alaska land excursions features five places and activities to visit that will be a big help for folks hoping to do Alaska shore excursions on the cheap. So since uh, Ketchikan is so walkable, we thought that the first excursion you could do is go for a walk. The city is home to many streets made of steep wooden stairs. So all of our handicap guests in wheelchairs and scooters, please be advised. Start your excursion by the city's newest boardwalk, the Waterfront Promenade. From here you will have some of the best views of the city and be able to visit Harborview Park. This park is comprised of boardwalks and stairs, an absolute favorite for visitors and locals alike. The cost is free, and while we're on the subject of walking, you can just keep on walking. That's right, take a Ketchikan walking tour. The Ketchikan Historic Society has created a fabulous free Ketchikan walking tour map. The map will be a favorite among things to do in Ketchikan, Alaska. The map includes 64 points of interest, all located in downtown Ketchikan or on the West End. You can visit the Ketchikan Visitors Bureau along your travels to get your own copy. Now when Frank and I head to Ketchikan, we're going to try to get uh, this map and uh, hopefully scan it and upload it to the Cruising with Wheels um, Facebook page. So keep an eye out for that. Now the second place that you might want to visit, perhaps if you're a little bit of a thrill seeker or um, into paranormal activity, would be uh, Guard Island Lighthouse. It's located 12 miles north of Ketchikan, close to the beginning of the Tongass Narrows. Uh, and the lighthouse has been working since 1924 and was taken over by the U.S. Coast Guard in 1969. They have some spooky history for the horror buffs out there. During Prohibition, a double murder was discovered in a drifting vessel close by. Other notable facts about the monument include its importance during the Klondike Gold Rush as it kept ships safe while traveling through the Southeast Alaska Inside Passage. During your visit, expect to see seals swimming close by as they favor the spot. The grounds are now permanently closed to official Alaskan land excursions, but the site is still accessible and viewable by driving north through downtown Ketchikan. It's one of the more spooky and spine-tingling things to do in Ketchikan, Alaska, and the cost is free. Now the third uh, thing on our list to do in Ketchikan that is um, 
free or low cost would be to take a hike. There's some great hiking trails that uh, you can take. One in particular is the Rainbird Trail. It's a beautiful trail through the Tongass National Forest and it's going to be probably the least costly Alaskan land excursion that you'll find. Um, it's recently renovated and ready for you to explore. The trail among locals, favorite things to do in Ketchikan, Alaska is just 2.6 miles long and um, 20 minutes or so from the cruise dock making it a great way to spend a leisurely afternoon stroll. It's protected by the rainforest. This trail gives you the opportunity to feel as though you are truly in the Alaskan wilderness. But don't worry, there are still plenty of spots where the forest opens up and you can catch some great views of Ketchikan. Be ready to spend the day enjoying what the Tongass National Forest has to offer. It is the largest of its kind in the nation, and the forest surrounds the famed Inside Passage and offers visitors a chance to see wildlife such as eagles, bears, and of course, plenty of salmon in their natural habitat. And again, it's free to visit the Rainbird Trail. Now the fourth excursion that's on our list of places to see while in Ketchikan that is um, inexpensive or free would be to visit the Ketchikan totem poles. The totem poles are sculptures carved into wooden poles or posts and the poles are not religious in nature but rather represent characters in a story or events in history such as legends or uh, affirming a cultural belief. Another opportunity if you're hoping to do Alaska Shore excursions on your own, um, Ketchikan is home to the largest collection of totem poles in the world, many of which are a close walk or taxi ride from the six cruise ports, which makes checking out these amazing cultural resources, one of the not to be missed things to do in Ketchikan, Alaska. These hand carved Ketchikan treasures are located throughout the downtown and in the nearby Saxman Totem Village. At the village, visitors will find 29 poles carved by Tilungit and Handa native tribes that have been in the village since being moved here in 1930s. You can take an unguided tour for about $3. So I think that's very affordable. Of course, if you do take a taxi there, there will be the charge uh, for the taxi. Um, but it is well worth the time to visit these uh, cultural wonders um, and check out that art. And the fifth and final excursion that uh, we have chosen is the Dolly's House Museum. Now the cost will be $10 per person um, and uh, basically if you're looking for uh, an educational excursion this museum is fascinating. It's the home of Dolly Arthur, who during the gold rush worked on Creek Street, offering a red light district distraction to miners and fishermen, along with entertainment galore. There will be vintage photographs, videos, and memorabilia, um, and it will show you that uh, what life was like in Ketchikan from the 1990s to the 1950s. So um, I think Frank and I are going to try to check that out because it looked really, really interesting. And $10, I mean, it's very affordable. So I hope that this has helped you um, in planning a little bit of what you might want to do while in Ketchikan.
We want to remind everybody that we will be on the NCL Bliss Cruise uh, in June. It will be the inaugural Alaskan cruise for that beautiful ship. Uh, we will be bringing you vlogs, ship tours, and information about that ship um, once we get home. And uh, we are also on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. So make sure you're following us there. And until next time, Frank and I want to remind you to travel safe and cruise often. Bye-bye.